So at Met Your Orientation, you're going to get the opportunity to meet with a lot of your other incoming classmates. You'll get to plan your schedule with your freshman advisor. You'll also get to meet with some UC ambassadors and ask them questions that you may not feel comfortable asking in front of your families. We want you to get a chance to explore our beautiful campus. You'll get to see where your classes might be. And we really just want you to feel as comfortable as possible so that you can feel like you are ready to hit the ground running when the fall semester starts. When figuring out what to wear for May orientation, make sure to dress comfortably and casually, but remember a couple things. You'll be taking your ID photo, which you'll keep for the rest of your college career, and this will be the first time that the college is seeing you, so don't dress too inappropriately. If you are staying overnight as part of the overnight program on May orientation, remember to bring things that will make your stay comfortable, such as pillows, sheets, and sleeping bags. Additionally, you also want to remember that if you don't find a roommate, it's totally okay. May orientation, everyone brings up, oh, we need to find a roommate for August. But if you don't find a roommate and you go random, totally fine. That's what I did and it worked out great. Something that I wish I knew for May orientation was that you're going to be meeting a lot of people in just one day and to not let those connections be taken for granted because the people that you meet during May orientation could be your future friends and classmates. Before coming to May orientation, make sure that you contact Chalmer Benitez, the Director of Accessibility and Disability Services, if you have any concerns about accessibility or if you have any um, accommodations that you may need for May orientation because we would love to cater to your needs. If you're spending the night for May orientation, make sure to bring your families to registration. There's a hospitality area in the Bears Den that'll have snacks and information about restaurants and attractions around the Collegeville area. 